gave each of the bows a quick sand to remove the sharp edges and most of the dirt before I glued on the cross beads. On the underside of each bow, I marked with a pencil where both cross beams were to be glued on. Once I clamped them, I let it dry overnight. The next day, I hired a zip car to get to the wood shop. Up until this point, I've been getting a 45 minute subway ride each way and carrying the wood on the train. But this time, the formwork was just too heavy, so I had to get a car. With the frame pretty much finished, the next step is to do the seat. I had the formwork for the previous chair lying around the apartment, so rather than make a new one, I decided to reuse that. As this is a smaller chair than the original, I had to trim the formwork on the bandsaw. I also wanted to change the shape of the seat, making a much more exaggerated curve downwards at the front. This way, when you sit into the chair, it doesn't dig into the back of your knees. Once I'd roughly cut the curve into all three pieces of formwork on the bandsaw, the next step was to use the orbital sander to smooth out the curves and make all three identical. As I said before, this is just a prototype chair, so I do feel comfortable making these cuts by hand. But as I hone in on the final design, I'm definitely going to take the time to CNC cut new formwork, and I'll make custom cross-cut sleds for whatever specific cuts need to be made. The last order of the day in the wood shop was to give the frame a once over with the orbital sander, just to remove all the dirt and give it a nice smooth finish before I take it home. Now I'm going to be glue laminating my seat in next week's episode, but if you've been watching the vlogs up to this point, you might know that there's a guy in Rotterdam called Bart who's also building my chair as his thesis project for a woodworking course that he's taking. He's kindly sent me along some footage and I think it's really interesting to see how he's tackling the glue lamination process for the seat. Here you can see he's built a much more substantial and solid piece of formwork than mine, as he's going to be inserting it with the plywood inside this vacuum bag and sucking the air out. By sucking the air out, the flexible layers of plywood and glue are forced down on top of the formwork and they take its shape. Once it's let dry overnight, you can remove the pieces from the bag and the plywood should be in the shape of the seat. It's a really handy way to clamp very complicated shapes, if you've got access to a vacuum bag of course. 